1969, Arkansas and Texas, getting after it. Maybe you watched that epic game called the Big Shootout, and maybe you know which team came out on top, at least on the scoreboard. But it's more important to know what happened afterwards. Mark McDonald here, former player, former sports writer, now a fan and an author, here to tell you about my new book, Beyond the Big Shootout, 50 Years of Football's Life Lessons. It's a big, big story, a story about more than football, much, much more. It's about star athletes leaving the playing field, then running smack dab into a major opponent, something we call reality. Life can be just grand, all right, but it can be unpredictable. It can also be brutal, and it can be short. Oh yes, this story is about Razorbacks and Longhorns, but it's also about Texas Aggies, UTEP Miners, North Texas Eagles, SMU Mustangs, Penn State, Oklahoma, Alabama. Beyond the Shootout is about the challenges and the rewards after the President of the United States comes to watch you play when surrounded by Secret Service, Richard Nixon sits in the stands eating fried chicken. Athletes graduate or run out of eligibility. They fall in love, get married, start careers, have kids. Athletes also get sick. They divorce, car wrecks, cancer. They go into the business world. Some ventures make it big, others fail. No guarantees in true life. When you're playing for keeps, there are no gimme putt. Football has great value. All competition has great value. Competition equips a young athlete for challenges lurking just ahead. Sports add zest and spice to our lives. They give us golden moments forever etched in our memories. But it's only part of life. In the case of the Longhorns and Razorbacks that day, football was a start, not the finish line. My book is a fond look back at the late Frank Broyles and the late Daryl Royal, two coaching legends, two friends, they traveled together in the off season, two powerful programs, mirror images of each other, forging ahead to a championship. These two men and their teams, giving no quarter, but no trash talking either. Pure sportsmanship from the opening kickoff to the final gun, for state pride, for the national title. But the core message is how the big shootout shaped the lives of the players and how it shaped our own lives. For me, it has been 60 years of football, playing the game as a kid, covering the game for daily newspapers, volunteering to coach the game, and now watching it from the stands, all leading up to this book, Beyond the Big Shootout. It's U.S. history, football, American culture, fully illustrated by award-winning artist Bill Dior, plus more than 100 period photographs, two and a half pounds of truth, all stuffed between two covers. Get your copy, then ride along with me from the mid 1960s to the chilly day in Fayetteville in 1969, and then to today. In my mind, the stadium scoreboard does not tell the shootout story. Read what the players and coaches say, then you decide for yourself. Was there really a loser? 